Hey, hey! There's some Fumazi coin pusher here. Look at that thing. Looks like a flower. <laughs> Don't you reckon? I reckon that thing looks like a flower, like a rosebud or something like that. <laughs> it's a pretty little thing, isn't it? Oh man, that's awesome. Um, I'm so happy to see that because it's actually on stilts. So theoretically, it's not going to be all that hard to get over. And what I'm hoping is going to happen is when I collapse it, it's going to stay like that. I'm guessing it's all, all like interlocked. I'm guessing, I don't know, but it might go down there as one flower. <laughs> okay, coins on the bottom there. They look they look pretty good. They're, they're actually not too bad. So um, the top, it's got gaps in it, but nothing special. So um, anyway, I've got 50 coins here. I've got a funny story to tell you too. It wasn't funny at the time. It was at work. But I'll tell you that one in, in just a minute. Right now, I just want to see what's happening with this. No. Wow. Oh, I've got a little bit of movement that time. I like to do this because I, I like to know how the game is actually going to play so I can work out a strategy really early on. Uh, I did get a little bit of movement out of this side here but very very small amount. Okay that's a bit better. Alright. So there's definitely gaps in here. Definitely gaps in the top. <laughs> okay, that didn't move nothing. So what I think Dave does is I'm still trying to work stuff out. I reckon what he does, he puts gaps in the bottom and then covers them over with other coins so I can't see them. Um, and definitely up the top there where you can see those gaps. Um, all so you run out of coins before you knock that over. I think that's his strategy. I've been thinking that for quite some time. Okay, right hand side, uh, left hand side is now looking okay. I've got a bit of movement out of it. But this is not good. Middle, I got absolutely nothing. Okay. All right, now we've got movement on both sides. That's good. I really need to do oh wow that was easy what that was really easy oh my flower was gone oh I was like I like looking at that thing what I was gonna say to you is that what I need to do is just play the left and right side and stay away from the middle but well I don't know now the middle's all fallen over he gave up the, he just gave up didn't he said, yeah no I'm not playing <laughs> I'm not playing against this guy, I'm just giving up. <laughs> but still there's not a lot of movement anywhere. Look at this, no movement. I think I need to stay away from the middle. And I need not to do that. Come on, I need some coins. Oh, thank you. Oh, double thank you. Now that was my last coin. <laughs> okay, let's tell it up, see what I got. I actually did a lot better than I was expecting. So there's probably 25 coins there. I was expecting like 15 at the most. Okay, this funny story. As I said, it wasn't funny at the time. I literally shat myself. Well, not literally, but you know. Um, it didn't happen to me. So uh, I'm working on a building site this morning and I was on my own. So all I hear, and it, this all happened back face to me, it all happened behind me, but 
I heard somebody yell and they're walking around on this scaffolding up very, very high. I'm talking whoo, 15 meters high, probably three or four stories high, right? And they're walking around up there just like as if it's nothing. And I'm thinking, and I was actually watching them a bit earlier. And I'm thinking, man, that is crazy. I used to be a roof tile and walk around you know, on roofs and that and walk near the edge and that never bothered me. But these guys are high. Anyway, um, I was back close to them because I was just doing, I was just doing what you know what I have to do. You know, I was getting all my cable ready, and I heard a a yell. Uh, I turned around very quickly and I actually saw the whole thing. A guy fell off the top, right at the very top. Well, I think he was anyway. He hit about three boards. Um, right at the top, there was no boards, but like in the middle of it, and you know, you sort of they put in planks, so they walk across these planks. He hit these things and he snapped them. He, he, he went straight through them. He hit the ground um, and I reckon I was running before he hit the ground, right? And I fanged it, I fanged it over to him. I thought for sure he was gonna be dead. Thought for sure, thought nobody could survive a fall like that and go through those boards at the same time. By the time I got to him, he was dazed. I just said to him, I said, stay very still and do not move. And uh, he, he looked. He, he's, he just looked up at me and goes, "Why?" And he got up. No shit. He got up on his feet and walked away. <laughs> and I'm standing there going, "No way. No way. That is." Uh, yeah, my heart was racing because I thought I was going to find him. You know, gone. Unbelievable. I and mean, how tough? How tough is that guy? I mean, I can imagine WorkSafe and all that are going to absolutely get involved in it, but, um, yeah, I mean, that was absolutely intense. And then I'm, after, I, after I calmed down a bit, I mean, I was looking up there. That is high. <laughs> and to fall through the boards, I'm guessing that's what probably saved his life because, um, uh, you know, he didn't hit the, didn't hit the ground from the top, I mean, he had stuff to hit and go through, but man, those boards are like an inch thick. <laughs> I tell you what, I mean, there are some tough people out there. I mean, tough. Gets up and just walks away. Stay dead still, I said. I said, do not move. I said, what do you, what do, you do? Do not move. And he just looks up at me. He was dazed. You can see he was definitely dazed. It's like somebody, you know, literally knocked him out, but... And then, he, and then he just says to me, calmly, why? <laughs> Gets up and walks away. And I'm sitting there going, holy shit, no way. Anyway, that's all my coins, and that's my story. Well, I don't reckon we lost any coins. Still not getting a lot of movement in the middle. A little bit, but nothing special. I think I'll stick to the two outsides for now until I can get some coins. Oh, well, that was lucky. I tried cheating then, hey? Eh? <laughs> you tried to get one in before the swing. Okay, I've got like two coins left. I don't really want to play the right hand side. I want to stick these two on the left. Ah, oh, I did not need to do that. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Okay, definitely lost coins that time. So it's probably like 20 coins. Uh, I've been getting I've been getting some comments that um, the footage is a bit blurry at times. Um, I do run. What is this anyway? It's a Canon. I know I can't even read the numbers. Um, okay, um, it's a Canon, and look, the, the whole camera cost me like 400 bucks because I honestly didn't think anyone was going to watch it, so I didn't want to go out and spend anything too expensive. So, um, and every time I put my hand in front of it like this, it auto focuses, and then when I take it out, it's going to be um, out of focus. I actually don't think it's the camera. I think it's just simply because I'm putting my hand in front of it and then taking it away like that, and it auto-focuses. Um, if it gets too annoying, let me know, and I'll look into grabbing another camera, but I really don't want to be spending too much money at this stage on a camera when I know I've got one that works. 
I wonder if my little GoPro will work. <laughs> well, that'd be fine. I can strap that to my chest like I do with my metal detector. <laughs> There's no way this club would allow me to do that. Okay, that was my last two coins. All right, let's tie it up, see what I got. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, as you just heard, coins just fell. So, um, and I'm really glad about that because I got like, what, less than 15 coins, I reckon? Right, I'm going to play the left only. The right hand side is not a lot on it. That was a good little push, wasn't it? Oh, come on. I'll take it. Last two coins. Alright, let's tell it up. See what I got. Yep, got a few more. Um, I don't know, what's, what's there? 20? 25? Maybe 25. Okay, so that message that you just got, that was um, Diane, one of my subscribers, emailing me. Um, so, um, yeah, she's coming up with an idea. Thank you, Diane. I actually just read that. Uh, well, I read it as much as I could. I don't have my glasses with me. Um, but it's an idea for the skill stop. So, um, it, when I get home, uh, I'll throw my glasses on and I'll actually read that properly and see what it says. But um, all I saw in there was rubber grommet, hook, uh, and rubber. <laughs> well, I'll definitely be taking a look at that. Thank you. I mean, I've got to... I've got to um, I've got to read my messages like between cleanouts in case it's a job because work right now is basically stopped. I mean, I'm enjoying the break. Uh, you know, a little bit of work here, a little bit of work there. That's good, but I can't do that for too long. I'm still, I'm still paying the boys' wages, so um, yeah, I don't need to be uh, sitting around on my thank you on my butt for too long. But thank you, Diane. I appreciate that, mate. All right, right in the guts. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. Oh, we're looking better. We're looking better. Uh, 30 coins? Maybe? Ish? Got to throw an ish in there. That's my, disc that's my disclaimer. <laughs> that's so I can't get sued if I'm wrong. <laughs> these coins who are about to go down. Let's attack the middle. Okay, that was all my coins. I'll take it. Alright, let's tell it up. See what I got. Ah, oh, we did real good. We got like 40 coins, eh? And there's still quite a lot of coins over hanging. Not enough to be double stacking though, guys. Oh, that's a good shot. The whole thing moved about half inch.
one coin left. I'm gonna go right in the middle. Ish. <laughs> Bugger. <laughs> Alright, let's tell you up. Well, there's probably 40 coins there, 35 to 40, let's say that. Um, and 20 bucks. Nice. Alright, $230 in the red. Let's get some of that back. Thing. Oh, 20 bucks. 210 bucks in the red. Oh, <laughs> look at it, look at it. Okay, that was my last two coins. Come on, push it over. So close. All right, let's tell it up. See what I got. <laughs> oh, I must have 60 coins. I reckon there's at least 60 coins there and another 20. Oh, I nearly dropped one. But I didn't. I did not drop it. All right. Oh, man, take a look at all the coins. Take a look at all. <laughs> oh, man. I just noticed something. Yep, I just absolutely noticed something then. Uh, my timing has been out for a while. And uh, I just noticed when I was just dropping my coins in then, because I'm looking at these coins here and I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't think I'm gonna have a problem getting them off. So that means I'm not gonna have a coin issue. So I think what, I, what is happening is I just relaxed a little bit when I was dropping my coins in. Um, not worrying so much about double stacking and I'm landing four or five coins flat oops oops <laughs> shut up Jason <laughs> well maybe what it was that I didn't notice that I was just double stacking <laughs> Close. Oh, that goes a hundred. That might have been a hundred and fifty bucks then. Just, it just fell. Okay, that was all my coins. Let's tally up and see what I got. Nice, hundred and seventy bucks. And there's got to be what 75, 80 coins. So I think the trick to these games, well, I'm talking about the games I play. Um, I think the trick to these games is to survive the initial start of the game. That's where you're going to lose your game, I reckon, like in the first five minutes. And I have noticed that, like in my earlier days, I used to lose, um, well, believe it or not, quite a few. Um, in my early days, I used to lose them like in, within the first five minutes. And I, I could never really understand why. Well, now I know why. He was putting little traps in there to use up your coins, and that's what was happening. If you can survive the onslaught and get to the stage where I'm at right now, yep, you've totally got the game sorted out. Another 20.
There's my last coin. Take a look at it. That is absolutely ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's trying to do. So, I mean, surely he knows me by now. <laughs> anyway, let's tally it up. Thank you. Let's tally it up and see what I got. Okay. I was actually expecting a lot more coins than that. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 80 coins. Um, but I thought, yep, for sure, I'd be into the hundreds. Or well, 100. Um, but I got 30 bucks. I'm happy with that. So that tells me straight away that there's a that, that there's a potential problem and it may be forming. So and now what I do is I look and I try to find that problem. So um, I personally think it's just the amount of weight that's in this and it's just very slowly pushing it forward, pushing most of it around the outside. It's probably not so much this side because you'd see it, more that side. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see what it does. Thing is shifting. Okay, what I'm seeing is it's more shifting this way, so it's more shifting on an angle like that, heading that way. So I push for, I push more on the left hand side. See what that does. <laughs> Shit, I missed it. What was it? Oh man. Bugger. Stack of coins about to fall down. <laughs> um, not yet, I'm not, but I'll tell you what. Okay, that was my last four coins. Nice. All right, let's tally it up, see what I got. Okay, I'm not giving you a slow-mo. As you can see, everything is balancing on there. Uh, I can hold 100 coins in my hand just, and I reckon if I, <laughs> if I sneeze, oh no, coins are gonna go everywhere. Uh, there's 100 bucks in chips, and I reckon 100 bucks in notes. I mean, <laughs> In coins, in notes. Bad days. All right. Very gently. Very <laughs> Don't laugh. Shit. Now I got to use my guts. <laughs> yeah, my guts comes in handy here. All right. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is I've got a pyramid shape. Pretty much from, where's my finger? About there it starts, all right? It goes across like this. You can see that quite clearly. Now, everything outside of that is no problems. But the pyramid shape, uh, I don't think I've ever seen that before. What do I do with that? Do I attack it on the angle like they do with 10 pin bowling and try to hit it from, from an angle like over here? Or do I try to go front on? 
I'm thinking the old 10 pin bowling. Let's go 10 pin bowling. Oh, I haven't been 10 pin bowling for ages. Okay, stop thinking about it. Alright. Yep. Definitely building up. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? Coin dump? No. No. I've got to try to practice... I've got to try to practice all aspects of this game. Now, I would love just to dump all of that in, in at once as a coin dump. And that will probably get some of that off. Maybe. But I have to learn the other way. There's, there's, there's two... Did you just see that? I think 50 bucks just fell down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try the other way. Um, slow and steady. So a lot of people are saying, Jace, slow and steady is also a good way to play. Not so, you know, slam bam, thank you man type of thing. So so I'm gonna go slow and steady and I'm just gonna watch it very carefully. I've got the coins to do it. Because at the moment, my, my theory, if I get a block up, I hit it. I hit it as hard as I can. That's my theory, but the problem is you lose a lot of coins by doing that. And uh, I do remember stuffing myself up quite a few times, actually, by doing that, because I played it the wrong hand. So, slow and steady, I'm going to practice him. That is actually really surprising to me. That is really surprising. Uh, I never thought slow and steady was a good way to play, ever. I just thought, well, you know, that's only got to build stuff up. It's going to make it harder for me. If it starts building up, then I'm going to be losing coins and I've got no coins to do a coin dump. I've always thought that. That's why I probably very rarely do it. But I am seeing some very, very surprising results right now. Okay, that was my last coin. Now take a look at this. So what I've learnt now is the pyramid is completely gone. I've got my three lines. You can see those quite clearly. I've got a big stack of coins here, but that's not because of the game. You know, that's because there was already a big stack of coins there. Slow and steady actually works. Eh? Yep, you totally proved me wrong. Eh? <laughs> More than happy for that. All right, I've got to keep thinking of that one. 160 bucks, you little bloody ripper. That's what slow and steady does, hey? I'm really surprised. There's yeah, definitely more than 100 coins in there. That I'm not surprised about. Those two shirts that um, I finally got them back. Um, so um, they're, they're brand new, obviously, because I didn't want to send you my shirts. Um, so uh, I had the two two shirts made, obviously. I've got them given back to me, so um, they're going out today. So, uh, yep. I don't know how long it takes things to get to the US. A couple of weeks, I think. 
Oh, I'd expect it. A couple of weeks. So what I'm doing right now is I'm watching the bottom part very, very carefully. I'm only dropping in coins quite slowly. And I'm just watching the bottom part. I'm just seeing what it's doing. And it is moving. <laughs> and I'm not using up a lot of coins here. Look at that. Did you see that? Wow. So I reckon the days of coin dumping and playing fast are completely gone. I'm going to play slow and very, very boring. <laughs> no way. <laughs> coin dump time. <laughs> I am totally out of patience. That is... <laughs> I mean, I know that works, but yeah, I've got to, uh, <laughs> I've got to enjoy myself thoroughly too. I mean, I might as well. a good coin dump, don't you? This is how I absolutely just love to play. It's not the smartest way. Um, I mean, take a look at the top now. I had that top really clean. Actually, it's not that bad, surprisingly. All right, let's clean the top up a bit. I'm just gonna try, I'm trying to save myself some eye rolls. I got one coin left. I'm gonna go right in the middle. I'm gonna double stack it. <laughs> Did not mean that. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's tally it up. See what I got. 190 bucks. Nice. What? I'll take it. Right. New stack. Yeah, we're doing really good on coins. I reckon 120 coins. And considering I just did, <laughs> I just did a coin dump too. So, um, to be perfectly honest with you, I reckon I probably would have got the same result using a lot less coins if I had gone slow. But, the smile on my face wouldn't have been as big. I'm just getting some coins off the top.
Oh, the top's looking good. I reckon even Debbie would be happy with the top, right? <laughs> uh, well, maybe not Debbie, but Kenny would be. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Need to be playing the right hand side at all. I just want to go middle left. See if I can get it all off in one clump. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll take them one at a time. Not as dramatic. Coin build up on the right hand side, so I might have to make a withdrawal. And that was my last two coins. Come on, push it all over. Or do absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, let's tell it up, see what I got. 100 bucks! Nice! I'll take it! So, look, I'm a big man and I'll always admit when I'm wrong. Always. And uh, not that I'm wrong here. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, yes, I was wrong because um, I've... Look, I know Debbie was one of them. Uh, Jonathan was another one. Uh, Dottie, I think you may have been in there, but don't quote me on that. It might not have been. I could be wrong there. Um, have been uh, sort of trying to get me to play the way I am right now. Hey, look at these three lines, hey? <laughs> and, you know, I've sort of been thinking, well, you know, it's, it's sort of pointless. You know, I have tried the slow before and it never worked, but clearly I was doing it wrong. Um, so I'm a man of my word, you know, I've So, uh, okay, fine. I was wrong. Um, look, you guys out there, Deb, uh, Jonathan, I'm pretty certain it was you as well, mate. D um, Dottie may have been. Um, yeah, you've been trying to get me to play like this, and uh, yeah, okay, you're right, I'm wrong, and I'm sorry. Okay? <laughs> Don't expect another one. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you reckon? You reckon I should go for that just for old time's sake? Hey? No way. I'm done. Hey? Catch! Oh, you weren't even looking. Okay, um, yeah, so. What a great game. I'm loving these lines. Why am I loving these lines for? I don't know, that's weird. Uh, well, I'm weird. Go figure. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to tally everything up and I'll get back to you. Take a look at that. Woo! Nice! Oh yeah. I am absolutely stoked about that one. <laughs> Alright. So the tally goes. I've got 100 bucks in notes. I've got $800 in chips. <laughs> Um, I ended up with 133 coins. Sweet! Uh, that's uh, $399. Um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually cash my coins in. Today, I'm going to play the other side. I've got the coins to do it, and uh, I've been watching. I haven't said anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, 
It's a nasty one. You wouldn't play it with 50 coins. Trust me, you'll see it. You'll see it tomorrow. Um, but 133 coins? Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to leave the coins out of it. So the, um, the 800 chips and 100 notes, 900 minus 250, um, 650 bucks. That's my profit. And I get a free game. Um, so yeah, so the coins, $399. I'm taking $399, $400. Let's just call it $400 uh, into the next game. So um, you ought to be a ripper. Anyway, um, yep, I've got to go cash everything in and I'll be back. Okay, oh, someone's totally folded this one in half. Oh, and this one. Oh, man. Uh, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six hundred bucks. Woo! Nice! <laughs> uh, Alright, fifty bucks to the tin. As I said, I've got a plan. Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you. Anyway, six hundred and fifty bucks. Um, come out of this game. And hopefully, hopefully, with... Um, Pretty, let's, let's just say $400 free game going into the next one. Oh man, I can't wait. There's got to be a rip -em. Uh But I'm tossing up whether to have a bourbon or not. I don't know. Should I have a bourbon? No, I am on a diet and I'm trying to lose weight. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to have a bourbon. I'll just have a water. Anyway, uh, if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next one to win some more of this. <laughs>